Bali Koparianosa, de Kopande Letaila, si Koprene Tele Teli Toshkabavada. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Holy words long preserve for our walk in this world. They resound with God's own heart. Oh, let the ancient words impart words of life, words of hope. Give us strength, help us cope in this world where we roam. Oh, ancient world will guide us home. Ancient word, ancient word, ancient word, ever true, changing me and changing you. We have come with open hearts. Oh, let the ancient words impart. Ancient word. Ever true, changing me and changing you. We have come with open hearts. Oh, let the ancient words in part. Ladies and gentlemen, just pray in your prayer in your prayer language. If you have a prayer language, spirit life, just pray. So coparianda litana tai, se kepare te le de gabano, mamboro kopo shapaliate, ze kepande le ne non toso, ziki prati le tamba natalia to, jigede de de brandia to, mambra to so kobe le ne mahaya. Father, we ask that you breathe on our word today. Breathe on us today. Let your grace be sufficient. Let, your, let the anointing of your spirit guide us. Inspire our thoughts this morning as we commune with you. Mando kosha bahaya. Breketendeline mahaya. Zikili prando kosha. Zembaranon teledebe. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Kalendo Shaba, Nedele Brakato. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. As your word come forth this morning, may it come with power, with strength. May it come with favor, with grace and truth. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Speak through my mind, Holy Spirit. Speak through my vocal cords. Less of me, but all of you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you because you are extolled high above the highest heavens. Even today. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Good morning, Spirit Life. Good morning, Church. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, you're welcome to church. Give few people a high five and tell them you're welcome to church. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, I feel the anointing of God's spirit this morning. Uh, this morning, as we begin to dive into God's word, he will begin to dis distribute gifts and he'll begin to impact our hearts and change our mind and give us hope even for the future in the name of jesus hallelujah good morning church yes with the brevity of time that i have i will go straight to it i want to say thank you to pastor fred for the privilege to bring the word uh people of god this morning we'll be looking at um the subject this morning called fellowship hallelujah Turn to your neighbor and say, fellowship. 
fellowship with the spirit that's the word that's the topic for this morning's uh, message fellowship with the spirit fellowship with the spirit the word fellowship is derived from the greek word all right and it means koinonia tell your neighbor say koinonia <laughs> koinonia it says koinonia can be defined I, I made some notes down here it says koinonia can be defined as holding something in common does this ring a bell the bible says in the days of jesus they had something in common sorry uh, uh in the days of the apostles my apologies they had something in common all right they were breaking bread from house to house all right all right and the Bible says there was nothing lacking among them because of koinonia because of fellowship all right holding something in common all right and then when someone is common and then is used hmm? glory to god hmm? glory to god say holding something in what common and is specifically used for about 20 times in the new testament can you imagine that the word koinonia was used 20 times in the new testament that's to tell you how important that word fellowship means or fellowship means to the father all right but today we'll be looking at fellowship with what the father the father the first question I want to ask is why do we need to fellowship? Why do we need to what? Fellowship. Why do we need it? Why? Why should we fellowship? Hmm? Why? Why do I need to fellowship? Why do I need the fellowship of the spirit? Why? What will it do for me? Why? why if you begin to answer these questions you begin to see reasons and then you also be seeing the benefits glory to god glory to god glory to god colossians chapter 1 verse 18 colossians 1 18 says and he is the head of the body and the church who is the beginning the firstborn from the dead that in all things he might have what preeminence glory to god so we fellowship with the father because he's what with what because he's what he's he's the one who is the beginning he was the one who was there from the beginning all right and then he's also the one who has preeminence over all all right he holds the world he, he holds the world by the frame of his words okay so he can just say light be and light be and because he's the author and the finisher of our faith we are obliged to what fellowship with him all right now let me tell you something about fellowshipping with the lord now when you fellowship with with the father you interact all right you're interacting with divinity and when you interact with divinity things that you don't normally expect begins to fall have you ever looked at where have you ever um paid a visit to a place where they feed birds now you see people just throw things on the floor all right the fact that you're there the fact that you're there and you're dropping those gifts okay the fact that you're there and you're dropping those gifts on the floor for the bird to take it means you're distributing gifts to the birds all right now when we fellowship with the father the gifts that people would naturally and 
just look for or struggle to get those gifts just drop by the wayside all right they just drop by the wayside goodness mercy favor long life good health these things just drop just by interacting all right with the father glory to god i'm trying to take i have so much to talk about so i'm just trying to take my time to put the foundation on ground so that we don't um uh, we don't miss part of this whole uh uh conversation if you look at acts chapter 2 acts 2 42 says they devoted themselves to the apostles teaching and to fellowship to the breaking of bread and to prayer why would they do that why would they do that hmm? why why would they do that they devoted themselves glory to god they devoted themselves glory to god to the apostles teaching and to fellowship to fellowship so it's a three-way thing you fellowship with the father and then you fellowship with the brethren so you see it goes this way like a triangle and then you meet at the center the father and then with the brethren all right and then you meet the middle all right so you fellowship and when you fellowship you begin to break bread all right but i'll leave that now I'll leave that now let me talk more about fellowshipping with the spirit when you fellowship with the spirit all right your life begin to move and transcend from one level of glory to the other level of glory all right let me show us a bible verse glory to god glory to god i'll give you this one it says hebrew 22 hebrew i'm sorry hebrew tw hebrews 12 hebrews 12 verse 22 to 24 i'll read it says now you have come to mount zion to the city of the living god the heavenly jerusalem and to countless thousands of angels in a joyful gathering you have come to the assembly of god's firstborn firstborn children whose names are written in heaven you have come to god himself who is the judge did you hear that you have come to god who is what the judge over all things this is why we worship this is why we fellowship with the father he is the judge of all things he is the judge over all things who is the judge over all things you have come to the spirit of the righteous ones in heaven who have now been made perfect you have come to jesus the one who, who mediates the new covenant between god and people and to the sprinkled of blood the sprinkled blood which speaks of forgiveness instead of crying out for vengeance you see that each time we commune with the father each time we fellowship with the father what happens okay all right the, you you exchange identity glory to god you drop your weakness and you are picking god's strength in the place of fellowship you drop your your weakness and you're picking god's strength in the place of what fellowship glory to god glory to god it says forgiveness instead of crying out for vengeance like the blood of abel so when we come to god he forgives all right all right when we come to him he forgives now the question is what are the benefits of fellowshipping with the spirit now write this down if you have a pen write this down when you fellowship with god's spirit all right do you know what happened he gives you correction he gives you correction he gives you direction 
He gives you light. Places where people would not ordinarily want to see because it's dark to them. That, those places are dark to them. The Lord shines light in that path. And because you're fellowship with Him, you're fellowshipping with Him, you begin to see things that other people don't see. All right? All right? He begins to drop insights into your spirit. All right? He begins to send you messages on errand. Jesus said, I must do the work of He that sent me. You see that? All right? So, so when you, when you fellowship with the Father, brokenness is restored. All right? Because you're coming to him brokenhearted. And then he restores that broken heart. All right? And then he, he, he does what? He destroys every lost in your spirit. So if you're suffering from lost, when you fellowship with the Father, what happens? He begins to restore that burden for purity. All right? That burden for perfection. That burden for righteous living. That's what happens when we fellowship with the Father. Glory to God. When we fellowship with the Father. A life of prayer can help you fellowship with the Father. You can fellowship with the Father by meditating. You can fellowship with the Father by what? By having a life of prayer. Uh, by having what? A prayerful lifestyle. All right? All right? You stay at your watch and you pray daily seeking his face you can increase in fellowship with the father by doing that a life of purity a life of purity blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see god all right each time you live a life of purity you will always have access to the father and you begin to speak with him and share divine truths with him glory to god glory to god and then you also grow in hunger, hunger and desire for more. All right. That's how you get there. You are hungry and you're desiring for more. All right. The Bible says Enoch walked with God and he was not for God took him. Fellowship, fellowship, fellowship. There's a way you begin to fellowship with the father and you begin to inter, uh, intercourse with God's spirit. You, he changes you. He transforms you from who you used to be to another person. Imagine Elijah going up in heaven with chariots of fire. I can only imagine the level of intimacy, the level of intercourse with God's spirit, the level of fellowship with the Father. All right? Jacob says, I knew it not. And the, he says the angels were ascending and descending. That thing did not just happen because he was sleeping. No, no. He had been intercoursing with that spirit with that spirit he has been in tap causing with god's presence all right all right with in the place of fellowship all right remember the same jacob said i will not let you go unless you bless me fellowship fellowship with the father all right it is high time ladies and gentlemen it is high time for our preachers our pastors our prophets our teachers to begin to destroy their pulpits and begin to raise an altar of fellowship with the father glory to god glory to god it is high time because when we begin to seek him guess what happened when we begin to seek him in a place of fellowship and genuine intercession and genuine fellowship with the father guess what happened our will gets lost our will gets what lost our will get lost our desires becomes entwined into god's desire our will becomes available in God's will, all right? So what happens is that every crave and desire and lust goes under. And then we find our expression in God's will, in God's identity. That's what happens, all right? So pastors, preachers, teachers, apostles, it is high time. And the church of Jesus Christ, it is high time to begin to destroy and lay down our pulpits, all right? And begin to raise altars, pure altars, altars of true worship, all right? To the Father, 
in the name of Jesus. You're going to lift up your hands and begin to pray now and say, Dearest Heavenly Father, help me, help me, help me to begin to build an altar of fellowship with you, an altar of fellowship, an altar that we burn, an altar that we burn, an altar that we burn. An altar that will transform me. An altar that will transform my next three, four, five, seventh generation. In the name of Jesus. Shambale parati kabaya. Zeke parani ato. Zegele dembra telete. Zoko parani ani ato. Melekumbele te bali. Ziko parate le dende. Jegebele poko badila. Bendo kobani na lataya. Zibo pleke panda lai. Nelo bembo rotoge bade. Mende kubrati le te. Briko pande le breneto. Mento beliba. Father we ask Lord. The Lord as we seek your face. In a place of fellowship. In the place of waiting. In the place of prayer. In the place of the word. Paliko pariando. Melento baradiata. Melika balebra. You begin to draw the hearts of our, of the fathers back to the children in the name of Jesus. Melebra diata. We will no longer be conscious of time. We will be seeking your face daily as the day pants after the waters. Our soul will begin to long after you in the name of Jesus. Shika barinda baliapa. Breketelende blenu komiatai. Melimbra ke palaba. Help us, Lord, to be wired, to be lost in you, in the place of worship. In the name of Jesus, Father, remove our puppets and restore our altars of worship, our altars of fellowship, our altars of, of seeking you deeply. In the name of Jesus. Nedo zamba labriato. Brika bele de bendo. Zapalia kuramade. Le denogo ve balito saika. Mendo pariato shabilania. Melika brito sindalaba. He asked Moses to build a tabernacle so that he might dwell among the people. Glory be to God. So each time you fellowship with the Father, he dwells in you. He tabernacles in you. Glory to God. All right. In Exodus chapter 25, 8 and 9, if you read down there, he asked Moses, he said, build a tabernacle so that he might dwell among what his people hallelujah if you look back in the book of genesis chapter 3 genesis 3 the bible says he came to fellowship with adam glory to god god loves fellowshipping with you god loves fellowshipping with you but the question is do you have the time is it that when you come to church you're looking at your watch you say okay ah oh let pastor fred preach quickly i want to go home i have a meeting or they will call for prayer meeting you're giving flimsy excuses you give your work you give family you give all the excuses you have a lengthy list of why you cannot have fellowship with the father all right but look at it here the bible says in the book of genesis chapter 3 verse 8 genesis 3 8 he came to fellowship with adam and eve in the garden that's to tell you how God valued fellowship. All right? All right? When we fellowship, we partner with Him. All right? We partner with Him. We are partnering with Him. All right? We're joining a, 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 a congregation of firstborns. All right? With, with innumerable angels. Glory to God. It's a joint venture partnership. When you fellowship with the Father, it's a joint venture partnership. All right? As you're, you're speaking to Him, He's speaking back to you. As you're ministering to Him, He's ministering back to you. It might be in form of an idea. It might be in the form of an assignment. It might be in the form of prayer life. It might be in the form of correction. It might be in the form of caution. That is what fellowshipping with the Father can do for you the bible says when solomon built the temple the glory of god filled the house all right the glory of what of god filled the in the house you find that in the book of chronicles because of time i will just run them through 
you find that in the book of Chronicles chapter 7, 1 to 3. All right, Second Chronicles 7, 1, 3. When Solomon built the temple, the glory of God filled the house. Hallelujah. 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 Solomon told God, he said, Lord, these people are too many. I don't know what to do. I will need your wisdom. I will need your wisdom. Back in the day, Israel, the people of Israel, the children of Israel were the most complex people. These are the people that will see God part a Red Sea, yet they will still murmur against him. Can you imagine? These were the people God will feed in the wilderness where there's no food, no water. God gave them water. God gave them healing. God gave them so many things. Yet, yet, they still murmur. So Moses, uh, sorry, uh, Solomon needed the wisdom of God. And so he began to interface with God. He began to interact with God. And God began to tell him, do you know what? I'm going to give you wisdom. And there will be no man on the face of the earth that will be as wise as you. The Bible says people came from nations. People came from different tribes and tongues just to come and hear the wisdom of Solomon. All right? He will give you wisdom. When you have fellowship with him, you will have wisdom of the wise. You have wisdom, ancient wisdom, wisdom to know what to do, wisdom for witty invention, wisdom not to struggle. Why men are struggling, killing themselves, fighting for things. You are seeking the face of the Father. You are beholding Him daily and you are becoming like Him. When you behold, you become. When you behold, you become. When you behold, you become. Glory to God. Glory to God. Today, God dwells in men and women. Hallelujah. He dwells in men and women. Because He dwells in you now, it makes it so easy and beautiful. It makes it so easy and beautiful. You can find that. Glory to God. You can find that in 1 Corinthians 3, 16 and 17. All right? It says, we are the temple of God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 The Holy Ghost brings an emotional feeling when we worship with Him. He gives you this emotional feeling. Like, He brings that feeling of peace. Hashande Amato. Berekopa. Have you noticed each time you're troubled and your heart is heavy and you don't know what to do? Once you go to the place of prayer and you begin to seek God and you want to have fellowship with the Father, have you noticed that those worries just, they just skip like ram? Mm. Those troubles just disappear. They just they disappear you discover that there is nothing anymore around you that matters all right there is nothing that is more important than the presence of god glory to god all right it gives you peace and it gives you joy you find that in romans chapter 14 verse 17 all right it gives you righteousness peace and joy in the holy ghost in the name of Jesus, First Peter one eight, we'll give you. Is let's go to First Peter one eight. Let's read it. First Peter one eight. I need to read this out. First Peter one eight. Oh, Mandala Bariapa. It says, the more you grow like this, the more productive and useful you will be in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Did you see that? So the more you begin to seek him, the more you grow. The more you seek him, the more you grow. The more you seek him, the more you grow and you become. Hallelujah. 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 He says, but those, I want to read by verse 9. He says, but those who fail to develop in this way are short-sighted. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to have spiritual sight, if you want to begin to access things in the in the realms of God and you want to see things from God's perspective you must fellowship with the Father 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 in the name of Jesus you're going to pray and say Lord help me that my sight will begin to desire you let my sight not desire mammon let my sight not desire money let my sight not desire uh, uh, things of the world may my sight begin to desire you 
may I begin to seek for you. The Bible says Abraham was seeking for a builder, a city. Abraham was seeking for a city whose builder was God. Hallelujah. You begin to desire God because you're not looking through the, your normal eyes. You're looking through your eyes of your, the eyes of your spirit to begin to seek God daily in the name of Jesus. Shambarati Kabbalah, Zobelege de Brandelo, Zeke Pariato, Maraco Belebedo, Shabania Pa, Meloco Baradiato, Zeke de Lembrete Cobo, Membra Capaliata. Fellowship brings protection. Mm, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Fellowship brings what? Brings protection. He who dwells in the secret place of the most high did you see that he who dwells so if emmanuel dwells in the secret place he will abide under the shadow of the almighty if spirit life abide in the secret place of the most high they will dwell under the shadow of the almighty glory to god the body of christ is encountering so many attacks from the enemy because we are not dwelling we are not abiding all right we are not dwelling we are not abiding we are not dwelling we are not abiding and so we go through so much we go through so much and we go through so much attacks of the enemy we go through so much attack of the enemy so you're going to ask the lord and say lord help me to abide help me to dwell help me to abide help me to dwell in the secret place of the most high May I abide daily in the shadow of the Almighty. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. When you abide, there's a covering. The Bible says in the book of Exodus. Exodus chapter 13. Alright. Exodus 13 verse 21. Let's read Exodus 13 21. Exodus 13 21. Open your Bible to Exodus 13 21. It talks about how Jesus, Exodus 13, I mean, sorry, how God was protecting the children of Israel. 13 21. Uh, where are you? All right. So it says, Exodus 13 21. It said, The Lord went ahead of them, He guarded them during the day with a pillar of cloud all right all right he guarded them with what with a pillar of what cloud and he provided light at night i'm using the nlt version he provided light at night with a pillar of fire he says this allowed them to travel by day or by night. Did you see that? Imagine how powerful that is. Fellowship gives a covering over you. And then you're walking with the strength of an eagle. You're not tired. How can a people be traveling in the night and in the day? Just imagine that. In the day. And if you read another Bible, trans another uh, scripture says, there was none that was feeble among them. There was none that was feeble among them because the children of Israel came to a place of fellowship. Anytime they aligned, anytime they were aligning with the Father, they were always having good stuff happening to them. All right? All right? Pillar of cloud by day, pillar of fire by night. In the book of Exodus 13, 21 to 22. All right? So if you want protection, you want God to guide you, protect you, seek to fellowship with Him. All right. Seek to fellowship with him. He saved them from the Egyptian's army. Mm. Hallelujah. He saved them from what? The Egyptian army. Exodus 14, 23. That was what he did to them, for them. He gave Israel victory over the Amalekites. Why? Fellowship. Fellowship 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 glory be to god glory be to god when you are fellowshipping with the father 
automatically he delivers you from strange devils strange troubles strange worries Str by the way the kind of challenge our generation is facing today is more of a mental challenge that's how you see someone say i'm depressed i'm sick i'm having mental health issues thanks to our medical professionals that are helping out but ladies and gentlemen a lasting solution is to fellowship with the father seek the father seek the father and you will see those darkness fade away they will disappear it says he that found the word of God is like the one that has found a great spoil. Glory to God. Because when you seek the Father, he begins to give you his word. And his words begin to abide in you. And as he abides in you, it's like you have found a great spoil. Because his words will not fall to the ground. His words will accomplish every purpose in which he's been sent. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Peter was in prison. All right, Peter was in prison, and guess what happened? An angel came and set him free. Acts 12 1 to 11. They were in prison. Can you imagine that? Condemned. Fellowship. Fellowship. Let's look at that. Acts chapter um, 12. Acts 12. We have come with open hearts. Oh, let the ancient word impart. Now I read Acts 12. It says, About the time King Herod Agrippa began to persecute some believers in the church, he had the apostles James John brother killed with a sword. When Herod saw how much this pleased the Jewish people, he also arrested Peter. Did you see that? He arrested Peter. But I'm going to read from verse 5. It said, but while Peter was in prison, the church prayed. Glory to God. Glory to God. Verse 5 says, But while Peter was in prison, the church prayed. The question I want to ask the church today is, do we still pray like in the days of the apostles? It says the church prayed very earnestly for him. Did you see that word? Very earnestly with him i mean sorry for him the night before peter was to be placed on trial he was asleep fastened with two chains between two sides uh, two soldiers all that stood others stood guard at the prison gate suddenly there was a bright light in the cell and an angel of the lord glory to god stood before peter the angel struck him on the side to awaken him and said quick get up and the chains fell off his wrist <laughs> glory to god look at that look at that chains falling in the place of fellowship the church prayed earnestly they didn't stop they fellowship with the father and the next thing that is happening even while peter was sleeping chains were falling off him because the church had fellowship with the father glory to god the angel said get up and the chains fell off his wrist then the angel told him get dressed and put on your sandals and he did now put on your coat and follow me glory to god people of god when you begin to seek fellowship with the father you become invisible glory to god you become invisible you become invisible to limitations. You become invisible to stagnation. You become invisible to challenges. You become invisible to lukewarmness. You become invisible to cares and worries of this world. 
they don't see you because you are transformed as you behold you become as you behold you become you are transformed into another person look at peter walking through a prison gate a gate that was chained all right that was locked Bible said peter left the cell following the angel but all the time he thought it was a vision glory to god <laughs> peter thought it was all a vision he thought he was dreaming but this happened because someone prayed someone communed with the father hallelujah glory be to god glory be to god glory be to god hallelujah 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 Oh, let's pray in the spirit. I feel like praying. Let's pray. 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 We cannot be talking about fellowship and not practicing it. Begin to pray. Barako pondele de ba. Seketendele de manotoso. Estebele de bariakaya. Shambele paranido dosa. Tekobande le bo. Zipande le makaiwa. Nele de baranto sombe. Nekoparia de talaba. Pelendo sapa. Zeto le brege de bo. Bekobalato kamania. Belendo rokobaya. Shate kele bariano. Mendo kobarati le gebe. Sadile nenosa. Bendo koba. Father, restore our altars again. Restore our altars again. Restore our altars again. Apostles, be restored to your place of prayers. Preachers, be restored to your place of prayer. Seeking the Father. Evangelists, be restored. Peroko patelaba. Prophets, be restored. Metokoba. May we not begin to seek the face of God for our selfish gain. May we begin to seek the face of the Father for fellowship. For fellowship. And Enoch walk with God. And he was not, for God took him. Shambaraniata, Paleporate, Ecopariate, Mentele debe, Socoparate, pray, 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 pray. Hold the hand of your neighbor, begin to transfer, begin to transfer something into him. The garment of prayer, the garment of fellowship, the burden of fellowship. May we begin to seek the face of God. May we begin to create space and time for the Father. The Father seek worshippers. They that worship Him in spirit and in truth. Sika paletele mete. Estombele mana. Into bababa. Ela mio kopa nene leta. Etendele me kopo koko taya. Ilo koborandele me dada. Zopentele no chonde. Restore our pastors. Restore the church. Restore the church to the place of fellowship. Deep fellowship, deeper fellowship, uh, deeper walk with you. Uh. May we begin to seek you daily. May we begin to burn for you daily. Sentele parato, mako kwate indale ataya, mekoro tope, lende brani atosha. In Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus, ladies and gentlemen, when we begin to seek the face of the Father. And we begin to fellowship with him. He begins to restore love. The Bible says, For God so loved the world, John 3:16, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have what? Everlasting life. The love of the Father is shared abroad. It's so shared abroad in our hearts. And because when we fellowship with the Father, Love is restored to the church. Love is restored to families. Love is restored to homes. There's so much dysfunction. There's so much hatred going around now. And because the people have refused to fellowship with the Father, the people have refused to spend time in His presence, He has left them. The love, their first love, He has left them. They've left their first love. They've left their first love. They begin to do what pleases them. But God is saying, Church, return back to me. Return back to me in the place of fellowship, in the place of prayer, in the place of waiting, in the place of seeking the Father daily in the name of Jesus. Zopara neba kabaya. Zembreketolobodi. 
embrati tane tala meloko baba brekosh kababalia in jesus name second peter chapter 2 uh, no, sorry second peter chapter 1 verse 3 second peter 1 3 it says according to his divine power had given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through what the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue church of jesus christ you are called to glory and virtue spirit life you are called to glory and virtue spirit life you are called to glory and virtue pastors you are called to glory and virtue preachers you are called to glory and virtue evangelists you are called to glory and virtue prophets you are called to glory and virtue glory to god you cannot maintain your priesthood without seeking the face of the father without having a fellowship without having koinonia without having koinonia without having koinonia with the father you must commune you must commune that is when you attain that glory and virtue in the name of Jesus. You're going to pray this prayer right now. And say dearest heavenly father. Help me Lord. Help me Lord. May I begin to attain glory and virtue. As I seek you. As I seek you daily. As I seek you daily. As I desire to fellowship with you. In spirit and in truth. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Turn to your Bible to the book of Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 6. Ephesians 2, 6 it says, And had raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places this is what happens when we fellowship with the father all right we sit with him we dine with him we commune with him we think like him glory to god had raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places people of god as a believer you are no longer stagnated you are no longer honor uh, under he says who is man that you are mindful of him who is man that you take him so importantly you've made him a little lower than elohim in other words we are in the god class so if you're in the god class all right you're seated with him and so you should learn to communicate sit in that office declare take authority declare take authority run the activity of the face of the earth run the activity on the face of the earth because you are communing with the father parando shabahaya beloko bariano bento kobalaba nento lebaya biropa le kobaradi setande le kebraniato meloko badiata endo prakata as we round up this morning you're going to pray this prayer and say lord may my altar never go dim May my altar continually burn for you. May my altar continually burn for you. And as my altar burn, may I receive light. As my altar burn, may I receive sight. As my altar burn, may no so may I come to a place of fellowship. And may my burdens be rolled away. May my burdens be rolled away. Every dysfunction, everything that is troubling me, every burden that is weighing me down, as I fellowship with you, as I fellowship with you daily, as I walk in alignment with you, may those burdens be rolled away in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Lord, correct me, Lord. Let there be correction. Let there be restoration in the name of Jesus. Sambara Potolemaya, Zekobaria Taira, Peloko Barito Mati, Seleparia Tokomba, Meduze de Lebrandia, Mendo Brekelegobo, Brendo Sandele Maya Taira. In Jesus' name. People of God, I want to read this note. It says, This is special true. I'm sorry, this is specially true in a world such as ours. I was making a note. It's, I, was, I was telling, uh, I was in the note, I was saying that, that, okay, let me just backtrack a bit. All right. I said, I said, fellowshipping produces our mutual cooperation. 
when we worship God, all right? All right, when we decide to worship, all right, we have this mutual what? We, let me read it exactly the way I wrote it down so I don't, I don't mess it up, all right? When we fellowship, it produces our mutual cooperation in God's worship and God's work. And God will, God's will is always done. So we can pray the will of the Father anytime we're fellowshipping. We are not praying amidst, we are not praying in error, we are not praying out of fear, we are not praying out of anxiety, we are not praying out of defeat, we are praying from glory to glory, all right? We are praying the will of the Father. So when we fellowship, we pray the will of the Father, all right? And we pray that God's will be done in a world because of the importance of our Christian fellowship. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. It is essential to distinguish biblical guidance to govern and interact with our profession with our profession as believers. Glory to God. All right. So we're going to pray and say, Lord, the diverse gifts that you have deposited on my inside, help me to begin to access them in the place of fellowship. As I've made up my mind now to begin to seek you, to begin to daily walk with you. Help me, Lord, that Lord, I'll begin to walk in that divine guidance, in that divine anointing that those gifts those gifts will begin to come begin to, remember i told you about birds when you throw stuff on the floor because you are in their they are in your presence they are in your presence they will get gifts they will get gifts people throw things on the floor for them pigeons and all that you know and they feed them because they are in the presence of someone the same thing happened when we are in the presence of god when we are in the presence of god gifts are distributed gifts are distributed burdens are lifted yokes are destroyed protections are are, are dropped i mean are deposited in the lives of men in the name of jesus so you're going to ask lord as i fellowship with you daily let those gifts be dispensed let those gifts be dispensed let those gifts be dispensed in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Zebala Praniata, Membra Copaladaba, Mendo Libariata, I am the manifestation, Ale Copariana, and shining of the glory of God, of His splendor, His excellence, His glory, His peace, His blessings. As I begin to seek God's face, as I begin to delight in Him, as I begin to walk daily with Him, in the name of Jesus in the name of jesus finally we're going to ask for the life of purity a life of purity the bible says holiness without which no man shall see the lord if we are not holy and our life does not align with the will of the father we cannot access these deep things of god we cannot access these deep things of God. We can never access these deep things of God. We can only access these deep things of God when we begin to keep hol holy lifestyle. Holy lifestyle. Holy lifestyle. Father, we ask you, as your word has gone forth, Lord, may we be transformed. May we be transformed. May we be transformed. We open us. Oh, let the ancient words in part. If you know the song, sing it. Ancient word, ever true. Changing me and changing you. We have come, Morocco Shadaba. We open us. Oh, let the ancient word. In part, pray in the spirit now. Oh, Rande Namanita, Soko Paranila de Bahaya, Zeketele Breketo Kobaya, Jean Parania Toko Bele de Ba, Breko Sombala. We open it. Oh, let the ancient words. Oh, Mante La Mariato, Mareko Patali Bahaya. Father, as your word has gone forth, Palindo Ba, let it not fall to the ground. Let it not fall to the ground. In the name of Jesus, Le Parandepo, Meloko Bariata, every benefit of fellowshipping with you, may we receive them in a thousandfold. In the name of Jesus, may we begin to remove our altars. I mean, may we begin to remove our pulpits. 
and raise you an altar, an altar of worship, altar of purity. In the name of Jesus, may our ways be entirely lost in your ways. May our will be entirely lost in your will. In the name of Jesus, may we begin to desire and hunger for you. May we begin to desire and hunger for you. May we begin to burn for you daily. In the name of Jesus, Sokokwa tele madaria, melepere toko belati, belumbro kosha palanabia, membre ketom bele kurakiata, mele prunde kumbalia ma, membra teso balakibra, zetobaria tande. We ask for Lord a heightened prayer life. We ask for Lord a heightened prayer life. Mento paraniato. Zekelebre de dodogo, e broko sambariata, mendo le toko kwate, shage de beneboto, breto kombaliama. May we come to your presence and not be time conscious. May we come to your presence and not be time conscious. May we come to your presence and begin to seek your face daily, and begin to seek your face daily in a place of fellowship, in the place of koinonia, in the place of deep. Call it unto deep. Yea, the deep things of God. In the name of Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Father, for answers to prayer. Blessed be your holy name. Oh, Marate Kaba. Touch someone. Hold someone by the hand. And release the blessing upon them. Release the blessing upon them. Release the blessing upon them. Just bless someone. Hold someone by his right hand. Or her right hand. Hold the neighbor. Just release the blessing release the blessing of fellowship release the blessing of fellowship and the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit release the fellowship release the fellowship the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of the father the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of the father the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit release it on that person release it now 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 in your homes release it in your job release it in your place of work release it in your family release it over your wife release it over your children release it the sweet fellowship the sweet fellowship the sweet fellowship that anoint and release it the sweet fellowship release it release it release it shambara kapataye meleko pariata blessed be your holy name and so, Father, we thank you for your word. May your word not return to you void. May it accomplish every purpose in which it has gone forth. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for a life of purity from today. Thank you for a burning altar that has been ignited. Thank you for love. That is restored back to our home in, from the place of fellowship. Thank you for our families that is now reunited by the compass of your spirit. Thank you for the hunger that we will now be desiring. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for destroying our puppets and raising new altars, even in the body of Christ. Thank you for restoring pastors back to their first love. Thank you for restoring evangelists back to their first love. Thank you for restoring prophets back to their first love. Thank you for restoring apostles back to their first love. Thank you for restoring teachers back to their first love. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for insight. Thank you for light. Thank you for light. Thank you for correcting us. Thank you for transforming our minds by the compass of your spirit. Blessed be your holy name. And so we decree that this week is blessed. We will walk in fellowship with the Father. We will walk in new anointing. We will walk in new grace. We will walk in new power. We will walk in new dominion. We will walk in new authority. In the name of Jesus. You are blessed in the city. You are blessed in the field. You are blessed in your going out. You are blessed when you come in. Everything you lay your hands upon is blessed. Because you have sought the Lord and he is nearer to you. He is now dwelling on your inside. Ladies and gentlemen, you are blessed. 
Give God a big hand. Give God a big hand. Give God a big hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen.